Welcome back, everyone. We'd like to thank Toucan's Nightclub again for the beverages in the garden. And we do have a pleasure. And we have four lucky winners that we've drawn for door prizes. If you'd please see the information booth out in the front lobby to claim this after the concert. The Tazo Tea Tray to Hector Medina. The $20 gift certificate to coffee to Gordon Vesnez. The $30 gift certificate to Lotsa Matza, Jim Middlehurst. And the $30 gift certificate to Blame It on Midnight, George Fernandez. Mm -hmm. And if there's more than one of you by the same name, or if I mispronounce it, I'm sorry, but you can check out fun on your address. <laughs> and you can take me along for dinner. <laughs> Again, welcome back to this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Henry Fillmore wrote this next great march in recognition of a major charitable contribution gift to a Shrine Temple band in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1924. They had pledged to provide half of the funding for a new Shrine Temple in Cincinnati when they realized they did not have the funds to cover that project. Fortunately, a prominent newspaper magnate named Charles Phelps Taft half-brother of former President William Howard Taft came to their rescue with a generous contribution and saved the day. It was an appreciation and recognition of this gracious gift that Fillmore wrote one of these finest marches and dedicated it to the donor, whom Henry referred to as the man of the hour. Today, we also want to thank the generous donors for the cause of music and band everywhere. Many of you have read recently of the generous donations by Barry Manilow right here in the desert for instruments of the school band program. The Desert Winds Freedom Band wishes to thank all those who have come forward with their donations to keep them alive, including a surprising donation of some new percussion equipment needed for this concert. A gentleman who wishes to remain anonymous overheard Mr. McDowell talking in a local restaurant two weeks ago about the most recent band rehearsal and the fact that they couldn't even cover the parts for a few of the numbers as they didn't have enough instruments. The next week, this gentleman drove from LA with the needed instruments and dropped them off at Mr. McDowell's home, just in time for him to get them to rehearsal. All donated. The electric piano being used today was also just donated by the family and friends of Brian Scone. What examples of everyday unsung heroes. The band continues to need new equipment, especially new timpani. The ones you see today are graciously borrowed by the Coachella Valley Symphony, a set of real chimes, and marching percussion equipment for when the band performs for public events like the Pride Parade, the Tour de Palm Springs, the Desert AIDS Walk, and other public events where we donate our time and efforts. So we pay tribute to all the men and women of the hour, without whose support activities like these could not continue. 